Hello, this video is about how you can get your UDI from IFA. IFA is another issuing agency for numbers that then officially translate to UDIs. There are um, other issuing agencies as well, like GS1, and there are two more actually, but I wouldn't recommend them. Maybe you've already seen my, my GS1 videos, and this one is entirely about the IFA, which is German for Informationsstelle für Arznei Spezialitäten. That means like it's um, an issuing agency usually for pharmaceuticals, but now they've adopted this UDI system for medical devices as well. And their website is ifaffm.de and it's mostly in German. <laughs> okay, um, so which kind of UDIs do you need from them? First of all, of course, you need the basic UDI DI. That's the number that goes into your um, documents, like in your technical documentation, in your intended use, for example, there you have the basic UDI DI that describes the general product that you're um, that you're certifying there. And then you also need that one for the Udamed database where you need to register all your devices with the basic QDI DI. And then you also need that number for the communication with your notified body and with your competent authority. And apart from that basic QDI DI, you also need a UDI DI that's specific for um, every major version of that device that you release. And then you also have a UDI PI that's unique for every single piece of your device that's existing out there. All right, and now how do those IFA numbers translate to UDI? So IFA is actually issuing PPNs, and those are your UDI DIs, and those change for every major version update of your software. And IFA also generates BUDIs, that's the basic UDI, and the UDI PI system is um, is following rules of the application identifiers from IFA and that one you can just make up yourself. You can be very creative there. Okay, then let's look at a label with numbers from IFA. So here you can see this is an IFA uh, product label. You have the UDI DI here that's the PPN, as you can see here. Um, that's short for a uh, pharmacy product number, actually. So you have the PPN here. So um, IFA issues PPNs, but first and foremost, they issue PZNs. Um, they are mostly the same. They are just different in a few numbers. So if you look closely, you have this PZN one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that one you can also find in this PPN. So you have a um, preceding eleven here, and then you have the PZN one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you have um, a check character pair of four two, and that's. Um, the PPN that is internationally recognized, whereas this PZN is for the German pharmacy market. So every public pharmacy in Germany would uh, would be able to deal with this number. And um, yeah, if you don't want to sell your medical device through a public pharmacy, then you don't actually need to put this um, then you would only put this PPN here. Also, this is like redundant information in this case. All right. And then you have the UDI PI that is in this case consisting of the LOT number here and the expiry date there. 
And both of those numbers, so the UDIDI and the UDIPI, are encoded in this data matrix code. And here's also the official symbol for UDI. All right. And what do we do now? Now we buy this UDIDI or the PPN from IFA. For that, we browse to their website, IFA, FFM.de. And here, if you go to the top right, there you can actually toggle the language. Um, but um, even in the English version, there are some uh, German snippets all over the place. So yeah, a little bit of German would be an advantage when using this website. And if you go now to IFA coding system and to the bottom here, there you can find more information about how their numbers translate to UDIs. And if you want to find the pricing list, then you go to IFA for suppliers and here's the price list that you can download here with this link. This is an English version, but you can actually also see the prices here. So there's an annual fee of 50 euros. And for every PZN that you buy, that then also can be converted into a PPN, which you actually need, um, every PZN costs six euros. That's very cool that you can buy them um, in, as a single piece, because most of the times uh, you don't need that much uh, PZNs because your UDI DI only changes when you make a major update to your software. Okay, so if you make, for example, two major updates in a year, you would pay 12 euros for two PZNs plus the 50 euros annual fee. And that's actually quite cheap. Um, although I think the GS1 prices are kind of similar right now, depending on which package you choose. 